Welcome to a quick tutorial where I'm going to show you how to access your Raspberry Pi Zero via your laptop in under three minutes. Yes, that's right. Take your Raspberry Pi Zero, add a USB cable to it, and then plug it into your laptop and you can access the Raspberry Pi from your laptop or your personal computer. So one thing you may need to do is enable the um, SSS on the Raspberry Pi before you start. And obviously this can be done um, if you place it into a Raspberry Pi 3 and then typing sudo raspberry pi config which will load up the config and then you want to scroll down to the interfacing options and ssh you want to enable this yes press ok so i'll assume that you've got a fresh sd card installed place this into your computer into the sd card reader Okay, and we're basically going to make two changes. The first change is to the config file. So you're going to right click, open this up with your text editor. And what you're going to need to do is scroll down to the very bottom of the page. And you're going to add the following line, dt overlay equals dwc2. So save the file, and that's the first change. The second change that you need to make is to the CMD line. So we're going to open this one up and uh, scroll across to the end till you find the root weight command. And in here, you are going to add this line here, modules minus load equals DWC2 comma G underscore ether. So we're going to add that there. Click save. The final step then, step three, is to create a new text file which is labeled as SSH. This then allows you to access the Raspberry Pi and uh, boot in when you plug it in. So now you have your um, SD card ready and your USB cable plugged into your Pi Zero. And uh, now you're ready to plug it into the computer by one of the USB ports. So I'm just gonna add that now. Uh, it takes between 15 to 20 seconds to, to boot up. Obviously you can check the uh, LED light on the Pi Zero for activity. So mine's just flashing, I've just had the audio warning as well. And um, you can check here in, under your Wi-Fi connections, network connections, and eventually it will pop up with uh, usually an unidentified uh, device. Here we go. So this is the device here. And now I can go to Putty, type in Raspberry Pi, dot local press enter and here I now have my connection normal login credentials for your Raspberry Pi and I'm now into the Raspberry Pi and you can see obviously the folders here I can do everything I can normally do via a terminal window uh, on the Raspberry Pi so I've got the normal uh, setup here and uh, obviously I'm just going to shut this down and remove it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you want a more detailed video, there's one in the link below, um, which kind of tells you how to set this up from scratch and also how to access the GUI, the graphical user interface. Thanks again for watching.